So if you're looking to get more engagement out of your user community in Twitch or YouTube, wherever you're streaming, there is one simple thing you can do if you're using Streamlabs. And I'm gonna get into that right now. So the first you're gonna do is you're gonna open a browser and you're gonna to go to streamlabs.com slash dashboard. I'm assuming that you already have a Streamlabs account set up. When you get into the dashboard, you wanna click on the left-hand man, you wanna click on CloudBot, and you want to go over to man. So you have a few columns here, you have command, and this is where you have to put the name of the command. It's always gonna start with an exclamation point and then whatever words you wanna put in there. The response is actually the text or link that you want to show on screen in your chat. And then you have a couple timers. You have a global cooldown GCD and a user cooldown UCD. The global cooldown means how long it can be between times that this uh, command shows up. And the user cooldown is how long it can be between users, actually the same user activating that command again. And then you have your permission and then this toggle button is for turning it on or off, delete and edit. So let's go about adding a new command. You can start with a template. They have a bunch of templates that are built into Streamlabs and you can choose from, from any of these and you'll get an idea of what you can type in. But we're going to do something new. So I'm going to do exclamation hello and I'm going to say hi there. This is the text. You have up to 500 characters you can use. Reply in, chat or whisper. Permission is regulars, subscribers, moderators, the streamer or, or everyone. So. Usually you're going to want this to be everyone able to use it. I do have one command, which is exclamation SO for shout outs that I only allow myself and my moderators to do. On the advanced tab, you can define some of these elements that we're showing on the first. You could actually charge loyalty points to be able to use some of these commands if you want, if you are using YouTube for streaming like I am, but I'm going to say the global cooldown is five seconds and the user cooldown is 60 seconds. There's nothing else I need to do. I'm going to hit confirm and you'll see at the bottom, it says, hello, hi there. So if I were to go into my chat now, if you typed in exclamation, hello, it would just say hi there. You would then have to wait 60 seconds before you can use it again. Anyone in chat who wants to use it would have to wait about five seconds so they can use it again. If I wanted to disable this, I could just click this toggle right here and then it is gone. Or I could actually delete it by hitting the delete icon and you see a confirmation box pop up. And if I went into edit any of these, if I went here, you know, I could just change the text. I could change any of those functions that we were looking at before, but that's it. That is how you go about adding a command into Streamlabs in order to increase your user engagement.